Hi everybody, as you can see here, I have a mirror right in front of you. This mirror is like super, super old. I actually found it in the closet. And I plan on catching a bunch of matches on fire and gluing them to them. So if you're interested in that, stick around. So we got our box of matches, and I'm going to speak honestly with you for about two seconds. I have never used a match. Um, anytime I think that you need something to catch on fire, you have lighters. Uh, okay, so it says keep away from children. Um, I think you just like take it and go whoop, whoop. Oh, shit! Okay, that scared me for a second. I'm sorry, I've never used a match. Uh, how much am I supposed to let it burn? Um, okay, you know what? That scared me. Um, well, you saw it here. Tab's first time ever, ever lighting a match. I feel like I should have let it burn more because it doesn't seem like that much. And I don't really understand how, um, how far I'm supposed to let it burn. Because I did see a picture of, like, a star that people used matches on, and, uh, I don't know how far you're supposed to let it burn, so... I really hate this. Holy shit, it's like a firecracker. I guess just let it burn. Do you guys like fire? Here's some fire. That's why I'm doing this over the sink. Just in case something goes down, you can just throw it out. Dude, this thing burns forever. Uh, am I supposed to do it that way? Like the cool peoples in the 80s movies? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm not gonna watch you guys... Well, I'm not going to make you guys watch me light off however many matches. There's 250 in this, but one more. I feel like I should be doing this outside because it's like flinging sparks everywhere and I really don't like it. All right, here's your last little fire match before we start gluing them on because I'm going to skip to the, that point. I'm a little scared right now. Okay, that one burned itself out. Oh, would you hear Lilo sneeze? Okay. All right, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Okay, so this might be the dumbest thing I've ever done, but I kind of want to get them done quicker. Oh, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Here, let me move my hand to this side. Uh, it doesn't work. Oh. Dang, I gotta do it all the hard way? Okay. I had this whole clutch right here, and I took the lighter, and I went to... Uh, light them and the whole thing went ablaze besides like these little ones over here and it scared me Please don't do that. I'm gonna have to do this really the hard way Honestly, still not sure how people have the patience to do like a ton of matches and do this <sighs> So I have deemed my safest option to come outside and just set them on the sidewalk and let them burn out I think this is the safest way so This is the amount of matches I have now I'm gonna go ahead and take some Mod Podge. I'm just gonna like, oh, puppy sneeze. I'm gonna go ahead and just start gluing it because I kind of want to see what I'm really getting myself into because I've got 250 matches and I want to see if it actually is gonna look good before I do anything. So let's get gluing. So the matches aren't really sticking. So I'm gonna go get a piece of cardboard and make a cool looking shape or something because I'm not gonna put all this effort into something that's not gonna work. This poor mirror will find another day. So I found this old picture that we've had in the house for a while. Uh, here's our little matches right now. They're actually sticking pretty good to this. It's still a little bit of a struggle. But all those matches I've lit, it's really not that much compared to the rest of the frame I've got to do. So I guess another 200 some matches we should be good. Plans have changed yet again. Oh, look at how dirty this is. Um... So this is the route I decided to take. It actually kind of looks better in my opinion. Uh, once it dries it'll be better, but I mean it's pretty cool looking right now. So I'm glad I kind of chose this route. Right, so I've got everything all finished. Um, I didn't have enough matches for the top even though I had 250. So I'm going to paint the top like a, like a bluish color. I think it really would complement this. And then I'll hang it on the wall and give you guys the last little pick of it. All right, guys, we are all done. Um, some of the glue at the bottom still isn't dried, so if you're looking at that chunky stuff down there, well, whatever. I just, I couldn't wait to hang it up. I couldn't wait to see the finished product. And I call, this is a green tealish color up here. The paint's still not all the way dry either. But I really, really, really wanted to see it finished and hung up. And here it is. 
Uh, warning, uh, if your kid asks permission to use matches, actually ask somebody to help you. Uh, do watch out, that fire is hot. If people don't know, fire is hot. And be very careful when using matches, but I love it. I absolutely love it, love it, love it. Would I do it again? Um, I don't, I don't know if I'd do it again. I feel so bad for showing you all this glue that's not dried. Um, the matches in itself took about two hours to burn all of those. Just going out and striking them and everything like that. It took a very long time, so this, this project does take a little bit of effort and time and everything like that. But would I suggest it? Yes. Well, am I going to do it again? Pro like I said, probably not. But I love it. It's beautiful and it's a one in a kind piece of artwork. This actually, if you're wondering, I got it from a craft store. But putting the matches and everything around it, I really think spiced it up. You guys have a good day.